Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. So today again, I want to work with one of these kids toy trays. This one is rather small and simple. It actually belonged to my grandkids upstairs. I also want to use both the white and the black gesso. But before I get to that, I want to build a little platform. For that, I use a small size canvas board, some wooden blocks and a wooden tag. Uh, these wooden elements give me just the right height to keep everything straight. I use my tacky glue to put it all together and then I am a little too fast trying to glue down the canvas board, but it will have to wait because I want to decorate the background first. Now, most of the time when I start these type of assemblage style projects, I have a bit of a plan. And so I pull out some elements I think I want to include. But often I change my mind throughout the process. And this is definitely one of those projects. Now, the first step here of gluing down these wooden die cuts worked out all right. I sped it up quite a bit because it's a very repetitious process. I just cut the pieces apart in order to fit them easily into the shape. This is just for a background textured look. Now, whenever I change course or alter my original plan, I of course end up with a lot of extra footage that really doesn't make sense. So I got rid of all those elements, uh, but some parts were hard to add it down because you do need to see all the steps that brings me to the final look. So the whole process, especially the coloring, is a bit longer than I usually like to show you, but I hope you will still enjoy it. And here is the close-up look of the background. I want to add some more texture to it and so I use my Mod Podge and some sawdust. I keep all kinds of materials for this purpose. Sawdust, I keep sand as you can see here on the top in little containers. You can use all kinds of things like coffee grains and whatever else you may have. And I love the organic look you get with this method. I usually use a lot of whatever stuff I'm working with. I shake it around and then I just dump the excess into my trash can. And after this has dried really well, I will give it a coat of black gesso. All right, I think this may be a good time to turn you over to some music. Like always, I will add anything you need to know, all my mediums, into the captions. But I will be back talking to you in just a wee bit. Please enjoy the process.
Now off camera I actually added a few more of those broken ear studs to make the body of this dragonfly a bit longer. And then I will again use a similar method I used earlier to create more texture. This time I use micro beads and I also work on top of a little tray so I can save those beads and use them again for another project. I also used my tacky glue instead of the Mod Podge I used earlier because the tacky is a bit thicker and holds on better to these little beads. So here it is and again it needs to dry really well before I go on with a coat of white gesso. I finished that step off camera and this is the way it looks now but I'm not quite happy with the shape of the wings. So I will be adding a few more uh, jewelry pieces. These are two sets of earrings and the first set goes on super simply and I think it extends the wings and just gives them a better ending point. Now the second set of wings I had started by using these twisted pieces of jewelry links and so it was a bit harder to connect the extension and they stand out in a funny angle but I think it looks all right either way I was not going for a realistic feel here. I of course also had to cover the extensions in some gesso and then I started painting and my first step was using glimmer mist. Any kind of spray works well to get into all the hard to reach uh, corners but then I followed it up with some simple acrylic paint and then I took many many more steps all the mediums I used you will find in the captions. Now this is where everything gets a bit long because I was going one direction until I realized that I was just not achieving the right contrast and so I covered the dragonfly in black gesso and colored it all over again. Now within all these different steps I am taking I of course dry all the layers before I go on to the next medium. All right a bit more music and I will be back chatting with you.
So I did construct some antennas, but I also want to have some eyes. So I will be using these little cabochons and some tacky glue, and it needs to dry really well before I can add some lace to it. I also have these two pieces of wood of unknown origin, but they will make great brackets to hold up this teal science glass. But they are a bit too big to fit into this small space, so I use some sandpaper until they fit just right. In the meantime, the glue is pretty dry and I can add the lace, and this was very fiddly, but at the end I think the effect is really good and makes these cabochon look like insect eyes. So again, a bit more painting and a bit more music. So I'm finally done and here's my completed piece and I think my newer version is better than my original plan. Now, the background with the glimmer mist really just shows the glimmer, not so much the color, but it complements the gold rubbin buff on the edges, on the dragonfly, and of course also on the little emblem I added to the glass. I definitely feel that I achieved a better contrast uh, by adding the black gesso to the dragonfly. It stands out much more from the background and still fits into the overall look. I love all the texture, the shape of the dragonfly. It is of course very 
simple but works for this project. Really like the insect eyes and antennas and the detailing with the wire. And the teal glass was really a lucky find and fit just perfectly. I of course also worked on the edges to bring out the texture. And yes, it's purple, a color I don't use very often, but I thought it's purple and teal within the dragonfly and so it would work. Now this project definitely has lots of interesting uh, details, lots of great uh, textures and I enjoyed putting this dragonfly together and working on animals within my assemblages is something I would like to do more often. So far I stayed with the safe stuff, dragonfly, fishes and the turtle. Here in the background you see that I added some craft paper to clean it up. I also added a hanger and here is my completed piece. It's done finally and even though I thought this would be very simple it took me way longer to complete than planned. So I'm way behind. It's Friday afternoon and I'm still working on editing in order to get this up on my channel. But I'm determined to get it done so you will see it late but before the day is up. Now I will not be posting next week because we will be going on our yearly cabin trip with the family, kids, grandkids, dogs and even a cat. So I will be gone for quite a while out of town up into the beautiful Colorado mountains. But I will be back. In the meantime please enjoy my channel. Stay safe, stay creative and bye bye for now.